Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are wet pool cleaning. I hope I'm pointing the right place, I can't see because the sun's in the eyes. Wet pool cleaning today. Uh, I'm going to just run through some of the uh, equipment that I'm using. So this is what we're doing, bin's just overflowing. This is the section that we are going to do today. Which is all the way around. We get this bit done as well. This is very grubby looking look. There's quite a bit of bird droppings. Oh, a little skew under here. So yeah, we get all this clean. Tools of the trade for today are two 20 meter hoses. So I'll be able to reach all the way around there, no problem at all. One hose would probably be enough, but we're going to go with two. Uh, we've got the bin filling up. We've got the 20 inch flat surface cleaner. We've got the large long lance for rinsing afterwards. We're going to go on with the hypo. X-Jet. Savvy jet wash. So let's get the, uh, let's get the bin filled, uh, the hoses attached. And uh, yeah, let's get cleaning. Okay, as you can see, we've got the hypo down. Just turn you around a little bit. There we go. Uh, the colours are starting to come through already. Now the hypo's on, so it's not too bad at all. But uh, I'm going to leave that down now for about half an hour. Just let it soak in and do its thing. Uh, I've used 25 litres of hypo on a one to three mix on that but I have absolutely saturated it the thing with this wet pour is it's very very porous so it tends to hold the moisture quite a bit um, apart from that yeah we're going to leave it for half an hour um, and then we'll go on with the big flat surface cleaner and just go up and down uh, in lines and circular motion so we don't get any striking and that should uh, that should clean up really nice We've got this section to do, we've got the nursery section over there to do, which again we did last year, and there's a little courtyard inside, um, but I think, it's only a small courtyard, I think we're going to get the Nilfis to tackle that. Um, but unfortunately, because it's a bit of a mix-up in communication, uh, the kids are back at school Monday, it's Thursday today, so I've got today and tomorrow to get this done, the nursery and the courtyard, and get the courtyard resanded. Um, I could possibly resand the courtyard Monday morning once the kids are back in and in the classrooms and out the way, but... Ideally, I'd like to be finished before then. I'm going to see if the caretaker's here the weekend. I've got a job to do with Sid Partridge um, Saturday morning at school. And then, um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a Manchester City supporter. And uh, Harlan got another hat-trick last night. Anyway, enough of that. Um, so I need to get this done today because we're at the villa tomorrow. My brother's managed to get two villa tickets. Sorry, not tomorrow, for Saturday. My brother's got two villa tickets for Saturday against Man City. So... We're at the villa on the afternoon, so I'm kind of a bit, um, a bit pushed for time at the moment. So, uh, but we'll we'll get there. We'll get we'll get it sorted somehow. Uh, we had a big school yesterday, so I'm shattered today because it was horrendous. Um, I got a bit of footage of me doing some flick pad work on the inside, which I'll upload at some point. But <coughs> the actual uh, the actual windows were terrible. The firm that did it before didn't do a proper job. But anyway, I digress. That's. That's for another waffle. Uh, yeah, so we'll give this half hour or so, uh, which is enough for me to have a can of pop and a packet of crisps, and yeah, we'll come back. I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, that's been down for about 35 minutes now, that has. Um, I did, uh, the good thing about this, you can, when you're doing a nice big area like this, you just put all your hypo down, and uh, normally I would go over it first with a flat surface cleaner or with a, a nozzle. And, and rinse and, and blast off a lot of the dirt. 
And because this was done last year, I can go straight on with hypo, completely saturate the area. And then while that's working for half hour, I sit in the van and I just do a little bit of marketing, answer emails, return phone calls, but working, that sort of thing. So it's not wasted time. You're not standing there just looking at it burning daylight. You can actually do a bit of marketing and get your phone calls back out. So we're going to go on with the flat surface cleaning now. So uh, I'm going to set the camera up on the, uh, I'll just turn you around a little bit there. I'm just going to set it up on that platform there. Uh, so you can see a bit of footage of me cleaning the uh, cleaning the rainbows. I'll clean the rainbow section first because that was the first part that we put. That was the first part where we put hypo on that section there. So all that section we put hypo on first. So uh, yeah, I'll go round the rainbow and in circular motion. And uh, yeah. Petrol. 